the power of butts. This, ladies and gentlemen, will be our topic today, as well as why sports anime have become such a popular genre this past year. This and more on Otaku Corner. Get the fuck away from that boy! Those shows have never interested me once. I don't give a shit. The worst thing that could happen in a basketball game? Oh no. Tenakayama sprained his ankle. How will we oh, win? Oh no. Will he power through or bitch out? Probably power through. Oh my god. He somehow saved the day. What the fuck? And that, that's basically sports. <laughs> There's no good proper tension. No good proper tension. Yeah, that's the intro. Hey everyone. Welcome back to a uh, Taco Corner podcast. I am Josh and that is Chandler. No, I'm not. You're not Chandler? No. Who are you, Zach? Blah. You are blah. Yeah, All right. Really who I am. Yeah. It's not important. So, yeah, today we're going to be talking about a lot of things, mainly why and how sports anime have become such a popular genre this past year, as they have, because it really has been... Specifically a, because of one more, trend that I've noticed. Yeah, because it's really been... Very super fucking gay. Not that, but it's been a really underground series. Gay, home like free is just basically. I get that. I mean, it's been a very underground series. I I don't care a lot. Like all the ones standing out recently are like super gay, except for Kajo. But that's you know. Okay, so. We have confirmation on what, on when the second season of My Hero Academia, one of the best seasons, one I've of the best series of this year. What? I still have not watched that. What? We talked I'm, about it. I pretended, man. Uh, <laughs> Remember Steins Gate? I didn't watch that either. This is going to be so much fucking easier once we actually get into a house together. Going to have anime night series that's what i'm always recommending them so i don't have so i can just keep watching more shit my hero academy will be coming out next year in april so we don't really have to wait too long just a few more months i'm i thought it was an amazing show you still haven't I'll watched fucking it, seen it yeah you will fucking see it by then it was it was a really good show it had a little slow start but i think mm. it really kicked up after episode two or three but Really interesting. Kid who becomes a bitchy kid who gets superpowers, right? Something like that, and a world full of superheroes. Eh, kinda. I mean, the token super, the token bad guy is supposed to be a super uh, superhero, but uh, the token bully is supposed to be. But that's a story eh. for another day. Bully dicks. So, I guess this must be the fucking year for live-action anime adaptations, because now we have not one, not two, but, like, three anime adaptations movies coming out in 2017. We got a new one? Oh, yeah, there's two new ones. There's a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure movie coming out. I don't understand that. I I really don't. I don't don't either. I like... the All I know style? is that like the to be continued music, the guitar riff works over any GIF if you pause it right. Yeah, it looks fucking ridiculous. I mean, that's it's a staple. It looks of anime, pretty crazy. It just hasn't. Still, to me, it's just like what the fuck is going on? Just assholes with pompadours fighting each other. Mm-hmm. But besides that, there's also a live action Tokyo Ghoul movie set to come out. Can't watch no. that either. Really? I don't know. Something about it. Mm. You're. I know you're not too into gore. I'm or really not too much. So that might be it. But I do Attack on Titan because it's like adventure gore. Yeah, I've been. I guess, it. Like I guess I'm become more really, comfortable while reading it. So, like I know what's I guess, coming and I know how to fucking deal with it. But I don't know. I so guess like it's just that death your parade, corpse party, all that shit. Just like, nah, nah, get it. Get to watch something. Let's get decent. I guess it's just that you're not into gore in modern day. Yeah. For some reason, I never watched the sauce stuff. Yeah. I'm not singing Kumbaya with my friends in an abandoned classroom because my principal sent me to an alternate dimension to die because he's a pedophile or something. I'm 
pretty sure that's the presence of corpse party. But that's just, you know, that's just, fuck you. I, I don't need to see this shit. Well, getting off, getting into the kind of weird anime, there's a rumor going around that Panty and Stalking with Garter Belts is going to be season getting two? a second season. Oh, yeah. that's such a good fucking show. That is an amazing show. Oh, God damn it. It's the stupidest, but God damn. Funimation has just has a great track record. Their, their just, English dub they, is absolutely on point. Funimation dubs are usually like spot on. I finished another series this week. Um, I believe the English translation is uh, Palace Town Dandelion, something like that. About like the ro- a royal family of a small Japanese like kingdom has like seven children of the royal family and they have to compete in an election to see who becomes king. It's actually really good. And the huh. job is fucking phenomenal and I finished that this week. It was really good. I recommend it a lot. It's a good series. Comical, lighthearted. What was it called like again? Lot. I believe it's called the English translation uh, Palace Town Dandelion. Palace Town. The Japanese Dandelion. is like Jukinirio, something, something, no dandelion. Hmm. I'll have to take a look at it this week. I liked it. It was a good show. Yeah, no. Comical. Cool. Get me... Uh, Kept me engaged, liking the characters. I really do like comedy that comedy anime that plays it right. Not mm. the voices anime, were on par. A bunch of voices yeah. I've heard before. You can recognize them from other series. I like an anime that uses comedy to its strength and just instead of just being a uh, comedy for comedy's sake. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the problems of a royal family are, but now I feel like I do a little bit. And it's kind of interesting. Thank you, to Japan, s- who doesn't actually have a royal family. It's kind of interesting to hear a royal family actually having an election for the next monarchy. Yeah, the king's the king was an only child, and his parents died, so he was forced into like kingships. It was like, huh, I got a shitload of kids. I let <laughs> them make their own way in life. If you want to compete, compete. If not, you know, fuck you. Do other shit. If you, but if you want it, work hard. Work hard to get what you want. I know. You're not going to be spoiled little assholes. I'll definitely watch it. So. You right now have seen up to eight episodes of Keijo. Who knows how many excla- exclamation marks it has. Um, what is your opinion on it so far? Uh, yeah, it's just. <laughs> can, can you explain the overall plot? A new sports sensation. Huh? Weeping the globe. Because it's basically bikini wrestling. But no legs, no arms, nothing. Just tits and ass. It's literally TNA of the show. Purpose of the show is a um, new sport called Kaijo. Kaijo with eight exclamation marks. They're all very good. Um, there's floating bodies of land. Or like they're called the land. They're floating like platforms, little rigged up stuff in giant pools. And uh, women just have to get in swimsuits and be the last woman standing. You only can knock people off with your ass bumping or breast whipping. And it's just a couple of young girls and their story on wanting to become professionals. And it's I didn't think there would be involving weird powers, involving breast hypnotation, spiritual summoning of an ass dog, and Are you fucking kidding some kind me? of space time vortex manipulating ass cannon. But you know what? I'm a, it's it's a fun ride. It's weird as fuck, but it's a fun ride. So I guess you would say this is fan service to its fullest. One of the most fan service shows I've ever seen, yes. God damn. So boys, 12 years and up, watch this. If you get your parents out of the house. Yeah, do not watch this in a crowded room. <laughs> I've seen the trailers. I've seen part of the first episode so far. No, do not watch it's, it in a crowded just... room. It doesn't take itself seriously. It's just a bunch of girls like, hey, uh, sport's fun. I want to make a lot of money. Let's go to school to learn this shit. It's an odd show. It's a good show. But it's fun. It's really interesting how sports Very anime sports this anime. year have really, really come out of the closet, so to speak. Because, yep. I mean, we saw them to an extent, like maybe the most three, famous case ever until now was free. Yeah. Now, probably a which is a whole yeah. other barrel of monkeys, which I'm avoiding just because I don't give a shit about ice skating and fangirls. I, mean, I have love nothing it. against homosexual relations. I really don't think I do. But I have some. I know some people are like, oh, it's wrong. We're like, hey, fuck you. Let them be happy. I like to think I'm open-minded, but uh, 
I'm not going to go out of my way to see two dudes bang or kiss or fall in love or whatever. I mean, good for them. I mean, it's a fun story if they want to be, but or no, make the girls think they're not for me. A kiss, yeah. Uh, I've heard there's a man who literally orgasms while figure skating, and I I have no interest in watching that. I just don't. oh my god, wow. Yeah, I don't. I just fucking weird. That sounds like one of the weirdest shows ever, and I know a lot of people love it, guys and girls alike. I mean, yeah, I mean, enough. like the gay stuff's not overly gay until they kiss and get engaged, but the most part, just like it's Blades of Glory, the anime okay. without as much comedy. Okay, I, I'm assuming I can get I can get behind from that. my understanding. But if you haven't, um. The kid who played no Napoleon Tournament, John something or other, Will Arnett, Amy Poehler, uh-huh. Will Ferrell, Blades of Glory, go fucking watch it. Just, uh, Jenna Fisher. It's just the dark is the night is a very dark time for me. It's dark for everyone, idiot. Not for Alaskans or dudes with night vision. <laughs> okay, I fucking love Blades. Of Glory. I, I, Will Ferrell, I love you. You're a good man. I will keep paying to see your shit. Keep making movies. Yeah. So a more sports anime that have come out or some. By the title of All Out or uh, All, well, uh, yeah, kind of the most famous ones. I don't know the titles exactly. They don't like, yeah. specifically interest me. Like, there's some basketball thing called like Coco 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 or something. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like yeah, Coco yeah. No Basketball or some shit like that. There's, uh, I don't know, Night of the Field. I think is a soccer one. Is the English translation. I watched a couple episodes of that, thinking, hey, mm-hmm. might be interested. No. Nope. Older brother dies in like episode two and gives his little brother his heart because oh, they both got into a car accident. And now with the older brother, who was a soccer star's heart in his chest, he becomes a soccer whiz and takes it to the stadium or some shit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so uh, got all out. Of let's see. All out is a. Uh, all out is a soccer anime, and uh, Ace of the Diamond has a it second is. season. Yeah. That's they, that was that's a, a baseball. Of weird sports are really popular in Japan. A lot like, of American like, sports. Yeah, and, like soccer. Really. Like, I mean, it's not strictly American; it's more like European and Spanish. But like, uh, yeah, like soccer is huge in Japan. Baseball is huge in Japan. Some basketballs. And high got decent. a second season as well too. I don't know what that is. That's uh volleyball. I think. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's a yeah, I've I've seen the memes. A short guy, and it's all. That's yeah. another one with heavily gay and blood subtext. Just mm. nothing against it. Just, just let it, it is. Out. It is a show. A lot of subtext. But yeah, it it is really interesting that all these sports anime. It feels like this is uh, this has been the year of sports anime because we've been getting Yuri on Ice, uh, Haikyuu season two, Ace of Diamond, Ace of the Diamond. It's just, I mean, I mean. Unbuttingly, there's a lot to come out. There just never really seemed to be as high quality or like. Yeah, really. Decent. I mean, I'm not going to go out of my way to spot sports, sports anime. It's the same reason I don't really go see sports movies like Draft Day and a bunch of those shit. But like, yeah, I'm not a big. I sports mean, fan I can appreciate spot. the animation. I can appreciate the quality of it. If it has good animation and a good plot, then yeah, I will see it. But I won't really go out of my not. way. Yeah, but I really certain want to go things I just see don't it. watch, even though their reputations are glowing. Never watched an episode of Sailor Moon. Really? That just does not attract me. I mean, mm. I've watched some magical girl shit before because anime, and, like one out of every four, involves some kind of magical girl. But I mean, like <laughs> others do it really well, and this one's just like so early '90s and like so dude, goddamn out there. Dude, speaking of magical girls, it's they're... not even that out there. It's just I don't know. It's so about like Sailor Moon, it's like. I have no interest in this, dude. Speaking of speaking of uh, like Sailor Before Moon and Magical thought, Girls, because it, okay, because it's also Magical Girls. Yeah, um, I know it's not really, but with all the transformations and like girl fighting in Kill a Kill and the transformation sequences, which get really burlesque, uh-huh. and the insane powers they get when they transform, and would you consider that not maybe not Magical Girl, but like. In the ballpark, would I consider it? Mm-hmm. Eh, not really, because the clothing. I, I kind of do. I want I mean, because there's epic I, transformations. Oh sure, sure. Fights. There's epic transform, but I don't personally because uh, the clothing is alien. So it does. It's not really yeah. I mean, actual yeah. magic. When I when I think uh, magical girl, I think actual like 
magic. Fuck, rooms. I had a really good point. I just forgot what it was for like half a <laughs> second. Um, oh yes. Uh, recently, I stated that Gurren Lagann, uh, uh-huh. by Gurren Lagann and Kill a Kill were similar but not the same creations. I was correct and also wrong. Gurren Lagann was Gygax, which kind of imploded. It's still around, but it's just kind of being shitty lately. And yeah. uh, half the crew went to some studio I can't remember the name of, and the other formed or joined or increased Studio Trigger, which was Kill a Kill, Kiss Naiver, uh, Space Patrol, Illico. So, yeah, same people. Not same Trigger. brand, same people. Yeah, Trigger is some of the... some goddamn, Trigger. High... Just... Goddamn I, I just can't. I just, I just re Like, I just powered through during Logan for the first time, like, two weeks ago, I mentioned that. I need to watch it again. I've fucking watched it again since. And I've added the soundtrack to my work. I'm sorry. Uh, row, row, fight the power. The fucking <laughs> the yes. songs just gets you, makes you want to like, all right, let's go, let's go fucking, let's go kill something. It's fun. Let's fight. It's just like, yes. I don't like rap, but fuck, this song's awesome. Die, motherfucker. We will kill you. Yes. Same with Kill a Kill, like, um, Don't Lose Your Way and the theme song to Kill a Kill. All my other guys. Oh, yeah. They're just like, god damn. Good, good, good fucking music. This is out of the park. I never knew Magic Girls. What the hell is do ra 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 I think there's I think there's, there's like fourteen like four RAs. Runs. So I just I just keep saying. Do ra 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 ra. I think it's like. I'm a, sorry. Do if you're gonna ra ra repeat ra ra. your name like that, I'm gonna make fun of it. No, no, no. The <sighs> the fucking weirdest name. Bo 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 bo. Oh goddamn. Bo 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 bo. It's seven bows. <laughs> that was my password to something called. If you're old enough to know what this is, Habo Hotel. Bo, 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 bo. Uh, I don't fucking remember his Habbo Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do, good on you. It's a fucking blast from the past. So do you have any uh, other topics that you found over the week? Mm. Or anything that you have to add on sports anime or Keijo? I haven't found something confirming it. Okay. That's a buddy at work who talks to me about this a lot. Alright. Supposedly. Season 2 of... One of the I'm gonna stretch this out as long as I can. Greatest <laughs> shows in the last five years. Hmm. Recently had a, no, I don't know exactly how recently, but at some point in the last few years has had a movie adaptation of which I have watched recently about the son of Satan who cloaks himself in blue flame. Fucking Blue Exorcist season two. Oh yeah, and I'm excited if it's true because fuck yes, that show's great. Didn't we talk about this? A the few Okumura episodes? brothers. Yeah, didn't we yeah. talk about this a few episodes ago that uh, Blue Exorcist I don't know about season getting... two, but yeah, at thought... the very least, I mentioned I watched the movie. I know you watched the movie. I thought we mentioned that, that it was going to have a season two. Hmm. Quite if possible, we didn't, but yeah. I heard it recently from my buddy. I'm like, because <gasps> he's the one who showed me Blue Exorcist season God damn it. If you haven't watched Blue Exorcist, go fucking watch it. Yeah, but it's, if, we haven't, if we haven't mentioned it on here, yeah, Blue Exorcist is going to have a season two. It's like goofy and it's fucking awesome. I'm excited to see what ha- what has come of the Okumura brothers now that I've both realized their satanic powers. I think this one might actually go a little closer, fall a little closer to the manga. Yeah, hopefully. So that would be nice. I just I just can't wait to see the uh, the Okumura brothers again. <sighs> that is probably one of the best shows in the last few years, or one of the yeah one of the few best shows in the last few years. All right. Well, if you don't have anything else for tonight, Zach will. So. Yeah, Zach will be joining us next time. Um, stay tuned this week for Geeks and Freaks. That'll be out Sunday, probably. Um, but yeah, that'll be out Sunday, I do believe. And we will be taking a one-week break. We'll come back in two weeks for our final episode of. 2016 and then we'll probably take another week or two off just to get through our heads what we actually want to do for the remainder for the entirety of 2017 but until yeah until two weeks later we will yeah sorry I'm, what's this week's show before we leave this week oh this week ah uh, damn i keep forgetting that we have to oh yeah that's right um yeah, I keep forgetting we have to do new shows, but so 
we originally were going to do this show, but since Zach was pulled away to a football game, we are going to be doing this in two weeks. But the show for two weeks will be Outbreak Company. It's oh, kind yeah. Of, yeah, it's the one you mentioned. But it's kind of a uh, more un underground anime. Not a lot of people know about it, but yeah, it's, a... it's Watch about... It Good yeah, it kind of explains some of the. Yeah, yeah. Of it's the references to a about, lot of series in there. It's a, it's about an otaku, uh, a neat base, a neat more or less that is pulled in to a fantasy world, not related to uh, Ray Zero. But yeah, so uh, in two weeks we will be talking about uh, Outbreak Company. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It so far is pretty cool. So far, it's pretty cool. I've seen I finished the first four two episodes. Weeks back and enjoyed it. Oh, well, that's because you bombard anime. I just, I just watch shit, dude. You have too much I, time like on I, your hands. I mean, I watch a whole bunch of other shit, too. It's just the way I'm wired. I have something playing at almost all times while I'm doing something. Usually something It, in it just background. helps me like focus on yeah. what I'm yeah, doing. I can get that. So I have other things going on. Anyways, yeah. So uh, stay tuned. Two weeks we will be talking yeah, about. Yeah, stay tuned. Two weeks we'll be talking about Outbreak Company. Stay tuned on Sunday. We'll be yeah, we'll be talking about a lot of cool nerdy stuff on Geeks and Freaks. Anyways, I'm Josh. That is Chandler, who is playing Borderlands right now, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.